top, that's your compression side, and then you just cut up from the bottom. How open is that notch? How far can that piece move? Not you got very far. you got three feet to go to the ground. It's not going to make it, is it? Well, no. When when you go deeper, only moves your your point that's going to grab your bar closer. That's it. Shallow. So you make it shallow, 90 degrees, it can go all the way to the ground. And you don't you don't have to go that deep. Almost level, flat on the on the tree. Cut in, just nick through the bark, and you got it. That's it. And then cut the top piece out. I want you to undercut that and leave a hinge till it hits the ground. And leave a hinge till it hits the ground. You know, fell trees with inches, probably a half inch. Where's the compression side of that limb? It was on the top. It's on the top. So which side you always cut first, compression or tension? So you take and slide on the top side, and then undercut, and it won't do that. It won't split. That's the reason why we step back and we take what information for the plan if you don't plan you're going to have things that aren't going to go right 99 percent of the time where's the compression side of that limb it's been out this way where's the compression side of it it's on the top so which side you always cut first compression or tension in sparta georgia today working with the uh, city of sparta and the county here group that we have a couple of them have have been in the training before and have gone through day one but uh, we finished up day one yesterday in town. We came out, did a little demonstration. We're out at a, a, a water treatment facility that's kind of unique. They have, uh, they have uh, ponds developed that they take and uh, put sewage into from the, from the town. And then basically it settles and then the water is, is pumped off and out into the forest. There's a irrigation system uh, all around the area that that more or less uh, then the ground and the trees and everything filters filters the water back and it goes back into the water table and into uh, streams and all it's pretty pretty neat setup and quite quite interesting but looking forward to a good group today we've got um, some really fast growing pine trees that will be taken down and so looking looking forward to, to watch the watch the guys work with these now, don't cut your hinge off till it rests. Once it rests, you go back into your face notch, offset a little bit, and use the tip of your bar. Just that, that just the bottom corner. Don't stick your whole bar in there because it's going to grab it. Take your tip and just go from the far side over, about an inch over, that piece will fall off, you're done. And just use the tip of the bar. When you, when you bypass that hinge material you have there across, it's cut. You don't have to keep going down because you're going back into compression, aren't you? So now go over there to the end by that log. Go, go back over there, watch the nails. You got an offset from the V because okay. it's trying to come together so you've got ingrain fibers grabbing. If you go over an inch one way or the other, just use the tip. Just take the tip and drag it across. You won't get any bind. And if you do, It'll, it'll break loose real quick because the fiber's already cut between your face notch and the other. Yeah, that's what I tried to do it. I tried to make sure I was just coming in with the tips. So yeah, but just you're, you're lined up to the V but, though. Yeah, I was lined up. So if you if you want to get it off, go to one side or the other, just about an inch, and that'll that'll sever it. Right. So would it make a difference? Not, yeah, we've just um, got a couple yeah, of rooms to come. Couple of I guess not removing that feet. front side wouldn't matter yep. though, would it? Up. I, I generally will take it out on top, but as long as you stay as shallow as you did, that bends out of the way. It helps yeah. to stabilize it. I, I Sometimes I'll leave, if I've got it the other way around, I'm putting a slide on the bottom, I'll leave that tang because when you cut down, you can feel when it gets into that kerf, mm -hmm. and then it pushes it away. It won't grab your What's section. Next? My plan is uh, I'm going to call these limbs on the way. So I get to my 10 feet, I'm going to do slide on the bar. Right, listen, you never cut a hinge off until you have the material that you're deciding to sever is settled down because if you cut the hinge off it can still pop up and roll sometimes you get in situations like that where it's across something you cut through like that and that thing will come right up into your face let's think about this now where's your next cut and, and the other thing is you want to think about stop your chain before you take a hand off the saw you don't you don't want to have your chain spinning and you're reaching over for limbs and stuff put your brake on or stop the saw on the wood and then move the limb 
You don't want to you don't want to be spinning the saw around while it's still spinning. Also think about we talked about slide notches on the limbs. If you if you miscalculate where your pressure is, if you go straight in on the compression side, you're about to be stuck. If you slide notch on the compression side, you can always rechange it up. See what I'm saying? So when you start doing like those limbs, you cut underneath and then over top and you're lining up and you just put a kerf. It can't move far before pressure's got a twist or push. But if you slide notch up to the trunk and then overcut, then it, it, it'll come off just like it's hinged. The pressure comes out of it. There's no other pressure built because you've got it hinging. Okay, well, so we have a limb down here that's been pressured. That's why it's going in. Which tree are you cutting on? I, I just put my uh, face, face right there. Well, look at it. Where, where's your compression? Where's the compression? Top or bottom? Top. All right. And and could it be side pressure? So you're going to cut before that limb or after it? Okay. So that's not really a situation there. It's going to hurt. How are you going to control it to keep it from moving side to side or up or down? Nothing. What, what did the notch do right here? Didn't do anything, did it? It's just a bunch of wasted cuts because basically... No, it went up, did it? It, it was holding. So that was a waste. So what we got to do is we got to get good at taking that information so we don't do unnecessary work. So now how are you going to cut that right there? Offset cut, straight cut, wedge cut, tongue groove, what are you going to do? A notch and hinge really wouldn't help you much on that. Okay. Offset? So which side are you going to cut first, the top or the bottom? Top. Okay. Could you angle that so that you don't have it, because it's pretty close to the ground there. If you take that, you're going to get in the dirt cutting the bottom up. Yeah. So what could you do to, uh, to angle that so you don't have to get in the dirt? So let's say now we don't want to get in the dirt because we cut one that way, we got to get our whole bar underneath. So now pick the saw up. Come on over. Now, now slide your bar forward. Now if you cut right there and then you go to the other side, you can mismatch the cut and you don't have to get in the dirt. And plus you can stand up. You don't have to be bending over it. You don't have to be up against the power head. What you're saying, and they cut like this. Yeah. And then how are you going to do the bottom cut? No, no, don't change that. Just cut in halfway the log. Now take the saw and go to the bottom side. Go over one inch, same angle, you change your angle, you're going too much vertical. Same angle as the one you had on top. Same angle. And now cut up until that bypass. We've got to be the same angle as the one you did on top or it's going to leave a corner. It's cut. What else you need to cut? You put it to cut in from the top, you offset it from the bottom. So if you go down here to this end and shake it, it should come apart. But see, you're, you're pretty close in line right there. And you don't want to do that because if you got back pressure, you're fixing to be stuck. So you offset with it one inch over and you won't get stuck. Right, what, what did we just talk about just a few minutes ago? When you cut a limb, if you put a straight kerf in, that kerf closes and it's going gonna, it's gonna to twist in there. It's going to pinch. So, you know, you made the cut from the bottom and you went to the top, but why did it pinch you on top? That should be your, that should be your tension side. But why did, it, why did it pinch you? If you if you use a slide notch on bottom on the compression side, and then you cut down from the top, you've got the hinge there, you can see where it starts to twist, and then you cut it off because all the pressure comes out of it. So why did you pass a limb? When you do an offset cut, you don't continue your cut and cut it one and a half times. You cut what? The bottom of your compression side, and it starts to close, stop, no matter what you got. Sometimes you have some pressure, you cut in very little and it starts to close. Stop, don't keep going. Go over, offset, cut down till you just mismatch that bottom cut. When you continue on up, that's cutting it twice as much and it, and it can get you back into the compression side many times. Right side. Chisel. 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 That's Chisel. And the point. And the point. What's the angle on the side you look for? It's a visual of what? 90 degrees. Chisel angle? 45. 45. Top angle? We talked about 25 to 30.